I need, I need to talk about this. This is, this is wild, okay? I was in Selfridges today, and there's a booker at a Rolex AD, and they sell pre-owned luxury watches through their like certified whatever it's called, and they had, they had this AP fifteen four hundred right Royal Oak. They had a, a twenty seventeen, and it was sixty thousand pounds for twenty seventeen fifteen four hundred right. This I have in stock right now, and this is a twenty eighteen. It's one year newer. Okay, and I've got this for sale at about £26,000. So they are selling the exact same watch, but older, for £34,000 more than what I'm selling this for. You could buy two of them. You could probably buy this and two or three Rolexes. I, right, this for me says, it says a couple of things. They, Booker or it must be this pre-owned certified, right? They are overcharging people so much, it actually annoys me how much they are charging because they are robbing people. And look, it might be foreigners that come to London that don't fully know the exchange rate. That would be very harsh of me to presume that because people are not idiots. Or they are just hoping that people trust them enough because they're Rolex certified that they should be paying a huge price £34,000 premium to ensure that it's a legit watch. I think that's bull. I actually could not believe it, and it's not like this doesn't have box and papers, because it does, it has all the link, like... Baffled me, absolutely baffled me. And then I was looking at the other Rolexes as well, and they're all like five grand over what I'm selling them for. Like, and they had an air kink, right? For about £4,000 more than what I'm selling it for. It's, I couldn't believe it. It kind of made me mad, actually. I don't know why that got me so much, because like, surely it looks good on me and my business that I can actually offer these watches at such a good price, but anyway. No more ranting. <clears throat> I've had a delivery, it's not a watch, but it is kind of related to watches. I've ordered some, uh, what would you call these? What are these called? Shipping bags um, for to put watches in. So I think I've got about 100 here, different sizes. Um, and also, just before I uh, go to sleep, because guys, it is uh, it is quite late at night, it's half 10. Um, I did sell this today. This is, I don't know if I showed you this before, but it's a Datejust 41 millimeter Wimbledon. Um, it's jubilee and fluted and this has sold so the guy has paid me for this I need to go meet him tomorrow um, and also tomorrow morning I need to go pick up a GMT Batman yeah what, what do you guys think of this pre-owned certified thing like have you guys had any similar experiences or is it just me that's seeing this absolute robbery uh, firsthand but yeah anyway I'll see you tomorrow So in front of me here, I have five watches. Um, I'm going to show you what they are. I bought these four watches yesterday on a Sunday when I'm supposed to be resting. Uh, it's currently 8.55 on a Monday morning. But yeah, I, I bought these four, I'll show you what they, those are. I have sold a 116500LN, a old reference black Daytona. That has sold, so I need to actually meet somebody later today to give them that. Um, but I do want to show you these four watches. Some pretty cool watches, actually. Um, I've got a Batgirl, sub date, 2018, 2020. Sub no date, and that's 2023. And I also have, well, that's pretty cool, I've got both of these now. So this is, it's wrapped up, but it's an unworn Panda Daytona 116. So I've actually got both at the moment. I've got all the boxes down here for the four that I bought. I'm, in, I'm extremely messy, my girlfriend's not here this week, so I get to take over the whole house. Yeah, for people curious that don't know why some watch businesses use these coffins, it's 
just a better way to keep them in storage or in a, in a safety deposit box. So I will keep them in my safety deposit box like this instead of with the big boxes. Because look, look at this. Now I also have this, which is what Rolex Switzerland will send the watches in to the AD, I think. In these ones, not these ones. They'll literally put the card in here. Maybe they do the same with the coffins. I'm not too sure. But I thought these were the... Anyway, whatever. So this is a 12671818GRNR. Uh, it's the full yellow gold GMT on the Jubilee bracelet. This is a 2023 and this has sold. So I'm actually meeting somebody tomorrow to give them this. And he's going to part exchange a Datejust 41 two-tone on Oyster champagne diamond dot bezel uh, a dial. Um, so yeah, need to meet him tomorrow. I'm sure he'll be very happy with this watch. Yeah, really like that. But anyway, my plan for today is I need to go get the train. I am meeting somebody who is selling me a package deal, a bundle deal. So I'm gonna buy five Rolexes from somebody. Um, it's quite an expensive one, but it's well worth it. I do like doing uh, bundle deals. It just, yeah, it just works out really well for my business when I can get four or five plus watches. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what those are probably when I get back. If uh, any of you guys have some watches that you wanna sell, I will happily make an offer. Um, more the merrier. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's waste no more time. I will probably see you on the train. So I'm back home. I only ended up buying one of the, one of the five watches that I mentioned. I am gonna buy the, the next four in a couple of days, but only picked up one. The one that I picked up, I'll just tell you very quickly now, was a green Sky Dweller. The new steel green on Jubilee. Wow, what a nice watch this is. Now, tell me you're in with the AD without telling me you're in with the AD. This watch right here is probably the best, one of the best examples. Um, it's one of the new, one of the new Rolex releases. Um, yeah, it looks even better in person, I must say. Yeah, really, really nice. So that has been picked up. Um, what else happened when I was away? Yeah, so I sold, when I was out today, a OP41 silver dial. Um, I actually sold this to another watch business. Um, so that has sold, I need to drop that off tomorrow morning in Hatton Garden. So I will probably see you tomorrow morning in the lovely Hatton Garden. I think that's it for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Just got into York. I picked up a GMT Zombie, the two-tone, steel and yellow gold, a 2023 full set. So, yeah, I've got that with me. I need to wait for my train to come, head back to London. It's crazy when I travel, like I have to get tubes, I have to get trains, I have to come back straight away. So like I'll pick up a watch, I'll, I'll travel for like two, three hours, meet with someone, spend 10, 15 minutes, maybe more sometimes with them and then I'm straight back on a train. So it's like sometimes like six, seven hours of just travel, part and parcel of it. But anyway, back to London we go. I am extremely tired. It is quarter past 11. Got back from York, picked up a GMT Zombie right here. Um, and also during the day I collected a uh, two-tone day, just 41. I think I told you before, did I? Diamond dot, champagne dial, two-tone yellow gold, one oyster. That is there. And then I have sold the green sky dweller that I bought yesterday. And I also sold a Panda Daytona 2021 that I bought. Did I buy that in this video? I can't remember. Did I buy that in this video or was that last week? I think it was this video. I sold the Panda. So I need to drop off these two watches tomorrow morning at like half eight. I think, um, and 
these haven't sold, so yeah, I'll be keeping hold of those. Need to post a watch that I'm picking up tomorrow, so I need to take this with me. Um, yeah, I have worked out that so far it's the 13th today. I think it's the 13th, is it? It's the 13th today, and I've sold 13 watches, so I've sold a watch every single day, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. If I could sell 30 watches in a month, I'd be very happy. Um, for me, anyway, personally. Um, so, yeah, that's today. I'm absolutely exhausted. Genuinely, super, super tired, I think. With the missus not being here, I've, I've I've been doing like twelve hour days and yeah, it's uh, it's actually quite fun. I quite enjoy it. I like I like working. I feel good when I work. I feel good when I'm productive. But it's probably the busiest day yet tomorrow. <laughs> I've got to go to Hand Garden. I've got to travel to two different places to buy many watches. So stick around, guys. Stick around. I'll see you soon. This week has been a bit of a crazy one. I have lost count of the days. Every day has seemed to merge into one. Um, I've had another watch delivered, and I need to tell you about four watches that I bought yesterday as well, which I don't think I mentioned. Um, I'm pretty certain that this is a GMT Sprite. I just need to double check that it is. Um, should be a 2023 GMT Sprite. Um, so four watches that I got yesterday, a full rose root beer, which is sold, a full yellow gold sub blue dial, which is sold. I got a GMT Pepsi 2022 on Jubilee, which is for sale. And I also got a Datejust uh, two-tone black on Oyster Diamond Dot, sold. So yeah, it's been crazy. It has been a crazy, crazy week very good for sales and the business, but um, I also spoke to someone yesterday and I told them about my crazy experience or, you know, seeing the expensive AP that I saw, which I talked about earlier on in this video. And basically, he made a very, very good point about, you know, why the prices are so high with the pre-owned stuff. He said, if you wanted to get the watch that you wanted from that AD, Buckera, would you rather buy three ladies' watches or would you rather buy an AP that costs a little bit more money? And the answer is, yeah, you probably would want to spend a bit more money on a watch you'd actually wear and you'd be happy to have versus three, you know, potentially crap watches. So it's a good point. I think it makes sense for other Rolex watches. So when I talked about the Air King being like four grand more than what I'm selling it for, that makes sense. If that helps you get a GMT Pepsi or a Steel Daytona, cool. But for that AP, I still think it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Um, if you do want a watch that is very well priced on the market, watch life, get in touch. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.